Hey you guys and welcome to my channel and as you can see in the topic this is a message to strong mommy Chrissy. Alright so some of you may have never heard of her. Um, she is a, a YouTuber here on YouTube and her channel is single, centered around her and motherhood. She is now the mother of nine children. Um, I believe she just gave birth at the end of August to her ninth child um, which she has had by her husband. I think when she met him, uh, she may have been a single mom to six or seven kids. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, um, they had at least one other child together. And this is either the second or third child that she's having with him. But here's the issue. All right, this guy has had a history of coming in and out of her life. And I'm going to call these discards. All right, so those of you who are familiar with my channel will understand why I would be calling it that. All right, there's a cycle of abuse that toxic narcissistic individuals um, subject their primary sources to in which they love bomb devalue and discard all right so obviously you know there was a, a section or a time in this relationship where he was love bombing her um getting a well with her at least you know to her standards and eventually there's the devalue and discard she disclosed on her channel that he has had a pattern of of abandoning the family but i feel like this time you know uh in my opinion is worse than all the others okay because number one she was seven months pregnant with their child and number two they were in a process of moving or they were like a week away from moving you know it was very close let's just put it that way to the time um, period of them moving into another home so here she is seven months pregnant with a child and then they have eight other kids to move into their new home and get settled with less than like two months before another baby is due so this is a lot going on all right so um she disclosed on her channel that they had some type of argument and, you know, he says some things, she said some things and she kind of challenged him to leave and he did. Okay. And not only did he leave, but he, he left into the arms of another woman. And I believe, um, this woman, um, that he already has a child with her. So he went back to a mother of one of his kids and then I believe she's currently pregnant. This is something else that she said in one of her vlogs. That this woman is actually pregnant. Currently pregnant by him as well. So a lot is going on here. So what um, provoked me to make this message to her is the last vlog or the most current vlog on her channel. Which I believe is titled, My Ex is Coming Back, He Called Us. So I watched this vlog and what actually happened is she called him. All right. And uh, it went to voicemail. So that lowered her down in her mind to just text him. So she texted him. And in the text, she was letting him know, hey, you know, we still have children together. And I and she was extending an olive branch to him. Look, I know that we're going through some things, but don't feel like you're blocked from your children. You can always reach out to them. Um, I'm willing to co-parent with you, basically, is what I'm getting from what she's saying in that message. Okay? So she sends him that message. A whole week goes by. And he decides to reach back. After a whole week goes by. Okay? Okay. And when he does, you know, she's, she says she's hoping that he'll apologize. Um, and AKA to me, that's take to acknowledge to a take accountability for, you know, his reckless behavior and the untimely fashion that he discarded and abandoned her, their children, an unborn child. Okay. When they needed him the most yet again you know and that's not what happened you know she said they messaged about his re their relationship and um in between all of that he did have a phone conversation with the toddler or the son that they had before this baby and um that made her that triggered something in her you know 
Because, you know, in a perfect world, we want our children to be connected with the fathers and fathers want their children connected with the mother when we're healthy minded in a perfect world, of course. So here she is feeling rejected because she admitted in her video that this whole experience was making her question herself as to why she wasn't good enough and why can't she have love, you know, and the message that I have for her, um, Chrissy, is to consider the source, sweetie. It's not that you can't have love. It's who are you seeking it from, sweetie? Who are you seeking it from? We have to consider the source. All right. If if we go to a source that just is just not going to happen with them, does it mean that we can't have it? No, it just means that we can't have it with them. All right, and I just want to tell you right off the rip just how he's pers um, pursuing this with you. He's treating you like a mere option. All right, because they messaged, number one, they text messaged. All right, so we know this guy has poor communication um, and conflict resolution because of how he even treated this situation to begin with, but it's just further exploited here are exposed, if you will. Um, but she's taking it any way that she can get it yet again. And she said, you know, I was hoping he was going to apologize, but he could see that he could get to you or get you back or rope you back in without doing all that. Because you're the one on the chase to him. You know, in her video, she talked about calling his mom, all the, uh, you know, enough and asking, have you seen him? Have you, where's going on? What's going on? And contacting him, you know, several times. And that's called chasing, Chrissy. That's called chasing. And what it's doing to him is actually reinforcing that behavior. He knows you're feeling the burn right now. So in his manipulative mind, he got you right where he wants you because he can see it. He knows that it's working. He's like, okay, okay. So this silent treatment that is making you feel so rejected and abandoned is working. And then when he throws you some mere crumbs, it's like, because you're starved for it from him, he's getting what he wants at that point. That's why he's, He's just, it's a take it or leave it for him. He can't, number one, he didn't even come in with an apology. He didn't even come in with an apology. He didn't come in with any type of acknowledgement like that. So we know he hasn't changed because what people aren't addressing, the elephants in the room and stuff, they ain't trying to take him out of the room. So this man hasn't changed. So, you know, that part of you that you said in the video that wanted to get excited about him just even acknowledging you, you know. And then the part of you that said you don't know if you can get over, but you don't know if you can get over what, what he's done and you don't want to repeat cycles, but you will be repeating a cycle if you go back to him because he's not showing any signs of remorse, of empathy. Number one, why did he have to wait a week to respond to you? That That's not the energy of a man that's missing his wife and his family that wants to be reconnected. That's not what that energy is. That's someone that's placing someone else on a bookshelf and is not even a first resort at that point. So he really can take it or leave it. That is the energy that I'm feeling. He can really take it or leave it. And the other thing that I will say about this is being as though you're reinforcing that his silent treatment is being effective, he's going to keep holding this off because he's beating you into a submission. You're chasing and reaching out to him. And pretty soon you're going to be the one apologizing to him in his mind. If he's already getting you to do what he what you're doing so far and you're gonna say oh 
I was really just reaching out to let him know that I'm willing to co-parent. Number one, he already knows that. And I'm pretty sure it's not the first time that you've told him this. And number three, if that were the case, the boundary wasn't established because you guys spent the time talking about your relationship instead of the kids for the most part. You know, you were talking about your relationship and why it wasn't working and stuff like that. And then you may say, oh, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one married to him. You didn't just have his baby and all this other stuff. But girl, I've been there. Well, I haven't been there. My husband never abandoned me while I was pregnant. But I have been in a situation outside of my marriage where I was abandoned by one pregnant and stuff. So I know what that feels like. But guess what? I was not missing, dude. It was the most despicable thing that he could ever do to me. And there was nothing in my emotions that wanted that energy back. It was disgusting and I wanted to throw up. <sighs> Honestly, um, throughout the years, watching this channel, he never really seemed to be present in my observation. To me, it was like another child. He was playing video games or just doing something childish in the background. Like I never really feel that manhood head of household energy. I never felt that off of him, you know, and sometimes immature guys will get with a woman who has, who's very motherly and very nurturing and they will know that their basic needs will be taken care of because you have to feed them you have to house them so they know that their basic needs to be can be taken care of and they can float with you you know they can float with you until something better comes along or you know and i feel like this guy was just never truly invested with you never never in the way that he needed to be because he would have came better and stronger with you for you and for them children his emotional maturity all of that has to be stunted but so is yours in your own way so is yours and that's why you were not able you were not only able to attract this energy but marry this energy and procreate with it so, you know, I'm hoping that this relationship is going to be a catalyst for you that is going to bring you closer to yourself, not him. Okay, not him. And I know you're like, girl, I'm not trying to be a single mom with nine children at this point. But you're going to feel like a single mom with 10 kids because that's what he's going to feel like a 10th child according to what you are putting out on your channel about him not pulling his weight financially and disappearing when he feels like it creating additional children within the marriage blindsiding you with that you can do you actually you know people say oh i could do bad by myself you could do better by yourself in this case you know this guy is dead weight and he's going to cause more offenses in your life and, you know, when we learn how to cut our losses, we don't make our plate heavier. You know, instead of subjecting ourselves to more offenses. You deserve so much more. And, you know, manipulative, toxic people, they are really good at making you feel like you're unlovable. That's what they do. And when you have a lot of situations and a lot of fails, because you have had a lot of fails in the male department, because I'm not sure how many other guys um, she's had children with. I'm not sure what the official number is. Um, it could possibly be five. He could possibly be the fifth one. I'm not 100% sure here. Fourth, fifth. Fourth or fifth one. I'm not 100% sure. But when a woman perpetually experiences that, yeah, she has to see that she's the common denominator. So I will agree with you that, yes, it's something within me that needs to be corrected 
that needs to be inspected, evaluated, so that I don't continue these cycles. Yes, it is something within you. All right, but that something doesn't mean you're not lovable. It just means you're not loving yourself right. And you need to find out those shadow aspects and toxic, toxic aspects of yourself that needs to be corrected and reprogrammed. Because then you will attract a different kind of man, sweetie, and you won't be attracted to a man like that. You don't have to take crumbs. And I know so many um, women that devalue themselves because they're older. Oh, I'm in my 40s and I never had a husband yet. Oh, I, I got to hold on to this crappy relationship by a thread because I'm I'm getting older now or you might think Chrissy because you have nine kids that you have to go through everything with this guy and hold on to him that's a lack mentality or you might think well I just had a fresh baby with him Lakia you would want to work it out with him too no I wouldn't no because I actually would have cut him off a long time ago Okay, but this isn't a, I told you so or rubbing your nose in anything. It's just saying that you need to be very careful right now. Be very careful right now that you're not making decisions out of your emotions versus your logic. Okay, you just had a baby. Your hormones are all over the place. Let your get clear minded, get clear minded. Because you're going to feel all over the place. You talked about it in the same video. Many nights of crying. Yes, a lot of emotions are stirred up. Because this, this is a lot. You know, we have one person here who is actually sincerely trying to be have the intimacy. And we have another person here that's running from it. This guy is emotionally unavailable. He's physically unavailable. Financially unavailable. What's there left? What's there left? What is there left here? We have to, you know, get more comfortable with endings here because when we drag things out, all that's going to happen is more, more kids are going to be bought into the picture and this marriage is drag out and you'll still end up divorced. Or you end up not together and still legally married on with other people. you can get better but you can't you can't until you start carrying yourself in a different way i mean i give you my props i'm tell you that right now and be careful you be careful because i had a c-section when i had my twins and you had a c-section with this child that you just had in august and i see you making vlogs grocery shopping pushing grocery carts with a baby and a carrier and all this stuff. And maybe, you know, we don't see what's going on around the blog. Maybe your mom's there or someone's doing the heavy, put the baby on for you and stuff like that. But I know I was told not to lift over 10 pounds. I was told to take it easy. But I know what it's like when A, you don't have adequate support and you're pushing yourself past the limits even the doctors are telling you to be doing. But you're just you're doing what you got to do because this is how you make your living vlogging on your channel. But you take it easy. You take it easy, young lady. And I hope that you've considered perhaps an IUD or something that's going to give you control of, you know, your repro your reproducing, okay? Because nobody should be getting any more babies from you that have not truly earned it. If you even open to having any more kids in your lifetime. It's okay to be finished, you know. But definitely not with a guy that, you know, this baby has been born. And he, he claimed to not even know what the baby looked like. Like, I don't believe that either. You know, I believe he took a glance. But you never know. Maybe he hasn't, and that's very telling in itself. Where is the love that he can just detach and disconnect like that? We have to look at these types of things. We really have to take a very clear look at it. And when, you know, I have discernment, I'm a little intuitive, but when I look at him, I just see a man boy. 
You know, these are the immature guys that, yeah, they could stick to a menu. But when it comes down to protecting and providing and being a real man, you can forget about that. <sighs> we got to do better. We got to do better and we got to want more for ourselves. And we got to believe that it's possible, but it has to start with you, Chrissy. He knows he has the upper hand. With all the beauty, with all the intelligence, with all the talent, and everything that you bring to the table, I see you with your children. You're an amazing mother, a great cook. You, you have everything to offer that a wife should have. But that self-love, there's something in your self-love, there's something in your self-confidence that is very shattered. And if you are basing your past experiences if you're letting all of that, you know, be in the bag lady and you're carrying all of that with you, and that's going to make you have a negative perception of what you can have in your present and in your future. So mind the story that you're telling yourself as well. I've done like, I started like a celebrity coaching playlist. And I think I'll just add this video in there. And some of you are like, she's not a celebrity. She's just a YouTuber whatever she's a notable person that i will add into that celebrity playlist and chrissy um if you need help with understanding what narcissistic abuse is because i do believe that you may be experiencing that you may be you may be experiencing that you may be minimally it's a toxic relationship all right, my channel has over 600 videos here where you can learn about toxic relationships, the ones we have with ourselves and the one that we the ones that we have with our external in environment, okay? Mm, God bless you. God bless you with that baby. I know the demands and your children are generally fairly young. Are any of your kids over 10? Like that's a lot. That's a lot of responsibility day in and day out god bless you god bless you with the strength because sometimes i observe in the videos and i'm like whew, that takes a lot of effort and energy a lot you know i hope that you you figure this out i hope that you figure this out and like i said that this will be a, a catalyst relationship for you and bring you closer to yourself all right a lot of women can relate to these situations you know marrying a, the guy that god did not ordain for us but was sent by the universe to reconnect us with ourselves take your lessons and do better do better and get out of your emotions and into your logic all right I hope that this helps you, Chrissy, and I hope that this helps some other young lady out there. All right, share this. I have plenty other videos. I'll try to tag them to the end, dealing with, um, dealing with, you know, uh, being a baby mama. I don't even like that term, but just those type of situations. I do have other videos on this channel that um, touch on that, and uh, like I said, I'll tag them to the end here. All right. I am a general life coach. So anyone that's interested in working with me one on one, you can visit my website, LakiaCrawford.com. That link is below the description of all of my videos and you can schedule a session. All right. I have all types of things available. Um, see what works for you. All right. I've written books, you guys. I have two support groups over on Facebook for survivors of narcissistic abuse. So you guys are welcome to check that out as well. All right, so I've been meaning to chime in on this. I I think this was maybe like six weeks ago, <laughs> but here I am finally getting around to it. And I was like, I might as well just go off of this most current video here. All right, but you know, storms don't last forever. All right, and the rainbow comes out and the sun and all of that. So, um, you know, don't run back to what's familiar because what you're going to get is what's familiar as well. All right, we need something new. We need something fresh. We need a fresh start. Now, you know, here's my sidebar before people jump in down here. 
All right. Those are two married folks, of course, and it's their marriage. It's her life and it's her journey. All I can do looking from the outside in, right? Because that's what I am. And I haven't heard his side of anything, of course. And I just know what she has shared. All right. But it's going to be up to her to do what she feels like she is led to do in her journey. All right. And for those of us that follow her, I guess we will see how this pans out. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If it resonated with you, go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Lots of videos here. Take what you can, you guys, to help you on your journey. All right. Until next time, guys, never give up on yourself. Continue to do the work and take care.